Those two boys were still riding, you know, 55 k's now into the finish, and I'm never going to go anywhere. So you're one of the strongest in the final. You made it over that last categorised climb in the front with the best guys. Talk us through the last few kilometres. Oh, just a, just a small, a full swap off, to be honest, with Casper uh, and, and Mate. And I think uh, they're probably two of the strongest boys in the peloton to swap off on the flat. So uh, I was kind of getting nailed a little bit. But uh, yeah, once again, I just don't really know what else I could have done in the final there. I was uh, never going to win a sprint against those two. And uh, I was kind of bound to lose, but I enjoyed today. Great. Obviously a hard day for you, hard day for the whole peloton today. Are you going to reset, go again tomorrow? I think we have to, stage 20. Um, I would be surprised if the break wins tomorrow. I think uh, Jonas would like to win in the yellow jersey, but uh, yeah, this Tour de France has been kind of crazy, so I guess you never know what's going to happen. Ben, what strategy did you have, if, if any, because as you said, you knew those guys had the better kick? No, I literally had nothing. I, I mean, what do you do? I'm not going to jump away at, you know, 55, 60 k's now. And if I do, they're going to get on my wheel because I'm not uh, not the fastest man and they're two of the strongest boys in the peloton. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. What a crazy stage. Attack. It looked like a classic today. It was. Um, at the start, there were quite a lot of small, bumpy, kind of tricky roads. Uh, and then just the peloton never ever stopped. It was always going to be like this, but uh, I don't think we all expected to have a day as hard as today. Thank you, Ben. <coughs> no worries.